Hi guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day and if this is your first time here, you came on a great video. Today, I am going to be showing you guys how to make copycat Cinestack pancakes. These pancakes I get almost every time I go to IHOP. I love IHOP. I love pancakes. I love cinnamon. So really, these are all my favorite things just combined into one and this is just kind of like a copycat recipe. I don't know their actual recipe, but this is super, super good and you should definitely try it out. So uh, let's get started. Alright, so first we are going to make our pancakes. I'm just using a pre-made mix here because I'm making everything else from scratch, but you can make whatever recipe you'd like. And then you're just going to cook the pancakes on each side one to two minutes or until they're golden brown, but try to make these about the same size. Now for the cream cheese frosting, we're going to mix together three ounces of softened cream cheese and four tablespoons of softened butter. Then to that, we're going to add one to one and a fourth cup of powdered sugar. Just add as much as you'd like, just depending on how tangy you like yours. And then to that, we're adding a teaspoon of maple syrup. I'm just gonna mix that together. And you can also use vanilla if you don't have maple syrup, but you're gonna mix it until you get this consistency. You don't want it super thick. Now to make our cinnamon filling, we're gonna melt four tablespoons of butter. And to that, add half a cup of brown sugar and two to three teaspoons of cinnamon, depending on how much you like it. And then just mix that together. Now we're gonna add a fourth teaspoon of vanilla and mix that until you get kind of a paste consistency. Now we're going to stack our pancakes. Just start off with adding some filling on top of your first pancake and continue to stack and add filling. And I'm only going to be doing three because <laughs> this is plenty filling. And then add cinnamon on top of the final one and then you're going to add your cream cheese frosting. And I put this in slow-mo because I thought this was really pretty. <laughs> but you can just add as much as little as you want. That's the great thing with making it homemade and it's super good. This is definitely not a healthy breakfast, but definitely good for a cheat day. Super delicious. Highly suggest making these. I hope you guys enjoy. So much for watching this video. Hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure that you leave a like. And also comment below if you would like to see me do a couple more copycat recipes, maybe from like other places, or I can even do some more IHOP pancakes, such as maybe like red velvet pancakes, which are also super good. Make sure you share this video with your friends and subscribe. But I will see you all in my next video. Bye!